What is up, YouTube? It's Diehard here. Um, I want to talk to you guys today about uh, CISPA, the Cyber Intelligence Sharing and Protection Act. Um, a lot of people are kind of misinterpreting, and you know, um, basically, this is the way that uh, CISPA would work. Um, you know, because as you go on the internet, it, it's for companies like Google, um, DoubleClick, you know, like ad sites or any website that tracks your information online. Um, you know, which could include potentially your credit card information, first, last name, address, marital status, um, sexual orientation, things like that. Um, it could pretty much include everything and anything. There's not really a limitation on that um, because the way the Internet works, especially um, when you are perusing the Internet, it's got to do with uh, using, you know, cookies and tracking cookies and double tracking cookies and all these crazy algorithms that websites use and much like YouTube um, it's not like don't get it don't get me wrong I believe that it would be um, you know violating our our amendments you know it, it would be invasion of privacy seeing as though any employee that worked at that data center would be able to uh, acquire your passwords usernames email addresses and they'd be able to access it whenever they want um, however, um, it's not meant to be used in in that way. It's meant to be used as in, uh, like, if there's a criminal, okay, let's say there's a cyber terrorist that's planning a huge attack on, uh, um, you know, on U.S. soil, okay, and they're within U.S. borders. It allows them to track suspicious activity like that and to possibly, in hindsight, stop something bad from happening before it happens. However, it also has a repercussion of average Joe, um, you know, st does a lot of browsing on the internet, um, like a typical American does. We all spend a lot of time on the internet nowadays. But uh, let's say he visits a lot of sites, and let's say he looks up how to make a bomb. They could potentially, and let's say it wasn't how to make a bomb to blow up something, you know, to hurt people. Maybe it was for like a project, or maybe he wanted to know the the chemicals for it because he was writing a, a paper on it for college or high school or uh, whatever. Anyways, the it, the government would be allowed to go in and say, "Oh, well, you looked up bomb." That would be a repercussion of that because he was truly innocent. But you know, at, at the same time, they could they could enforce a actions upon him. Um, so far, it it has passed in the uh, in the House of Representatives or in the House. Um, it's going to the Senate next, and if it passes in the Senate, then it'll go to uh, President Barack Obama, and he will either sign the bill and put it into law or else he will veto the bill and then if he vetoes it the house it will have to have a major major majority vote in the house and senate i believe to uh go into law. I, yeah house and senate so um the way that it works like the house of representatives uh, i think it was 10 to 1 for uh the republicans i think for every vote and 3 to 1 for uh Democrats. I might have those backwards. I don't have it up in front of me right now. I just was reading about it really early, like earlier today. Um, but in the in the Senate, it's about 50-50. I mean, I think there's a couple of more uh, Democrats. So, you know, it, it's kind of it's in the ball of uh, or it's in the hands of our public leaders right now. Um, if they feel that these companies should be able should be allowed. Um, not able, but allowed to uh, track all of our information. Um, that would include your ISPs, such as AT&T, Charter, Comcast, uh, Roadrunner, uh, Verizon, the list goes on and on. Because um, the way it would work is for the average user like you and me, it would be uh, like they could say to AT&T, well, we want a, a daily or a daily, monthly, weekly dump of all the log files from what all these IP addresses are doing. They could pull any IP address from the pool, and you know, if your IP address got pulled and you were looking up stuff you weren't supposed to be deemed in the eyes of the government, then well, you would. Uh, ironically, you could get tagged and get in some trouble. It's very possible. It's not about like shutting YouTube down or or shutting like your favorite peer-to-peer -peer programs down. Although I don't know who uses those anymore. Everybody uses torrents nowadays, but uh, <laughs> things like that. It's not. It's not for that. It's basically. Um, I hate saying it like this, but Uncle Sam wants to 
have another eye on you, an additional eye on top of the tracking cookies. Um, and again, it's for the companies like Google, Yahoo, um, advertising companies. You know, th that'll benefit them greatly to an extent um, because then they won't have to uh, they won't have to ask permission to sell your information. I mean, they could hypothetically sell your information without your permission. Uh, most websites like Google doesn't do that. Um, they are an advertising company, of course, but uh, any company that sells your your information without your permission, that's not a nice or a good company. But I've seen it happen on reputable sites, um, you know, mainly because of my background where I came from before I started doing YouTube. So it does happen. Um, and if this goes into law, you know, it's supposed to help out the government with finding cyber criminals. Um, we don't, I don't know how much or how good that's going to be. It's not the SOPA or the PIPA bill. Uh, the Protect IP Act or the Stop Online Piracy Act. It's neither of those. It's not a, a facade of it. It's not a remake of it. It's not a relift or a face mask. It's not those things because those two things affected the end user, which is us. It affected us to the point where they could go in on YouTube and say, oh, well, you have too many copyright claims. Let's shut it down. Um, you know, that would be bad. Um, however, uh, like I said, the CISPA is not, it's not like that. Um, what it's meant for is to help stop cyber criminals. That that is their intention. So, uh, you know, I hope you guys kind of got a little bit more insight on it. Feel free to share this video with your friends, family, and do all your research. Um, I'm not sure when the Senate goes into vote, so I don't know. But just keep bear in mind it did pass the House at the time of this video, so. I guess time will tell. This is a real possibility that this could become a law. This could, this bill could become a law. So, uh, you know, hopefully uh, they don't do it. But if they do, there's not much we can do. Not much is going to change. I mean, they will be able to access your accounts whenever they want to. They will be able to silence you whenever they want to. So, with that being said, let your voices and let your opinions be heard on any video you can find on the internet about this. Um, because believe it or not, government officials do go on YouTube. They do go on these videos about this. They do actually look for people's input. So, uh, but yeah, guys. So, do what you do, and uh, you know, share this video. Let let people see it. Share it with everybody. Everybody you can. Let them know that it is there, and it, it happened around the Boston thing, which was a tragedy, by the way. But uh, all right, guys. This is Die Hard, and I am out.